Look, hundred years at the hundred years, they done lied to us about this and that. Told us all we from Africa and made fiction characters turn into facts. Harry and Tubman, then it was not. No goddamn well that trick was capped. My wife and I wrote a book about it, and it's book with knowledge, evidence, and fact. My other book got them haters shook, cause it's helping my people take a closer look. Had their backgrounds in the background, show my people where they post a look. Show my people where they get it from, where they hit it from, all sorts of angles. When it comes to this research, you must please first, don't trust strangers. Find out not all of your own is what I highly recommend and suggest. And if you're looking for unsensitive content by me, I highly recommend you the best. Which is my website at the link you see just across the screen. Don't let it miss you, I make it simple. I double down on that black and white, it's too official. See you everyone, hope you all are doing well. Now I'm back in my office and I'm actually working on some things right now uh, so I could get ready to put out the new content that I told you guys I was gonna do for February. I wanna show you all something uh, that I ran across uh, in the middle of my research and trying to get other things handled, uh, dealing with some things I'm getting ready to present. And this is hilarious to me. And this is when I wanna point to you all, so I'm gonna Pull this up on my second screen here. Okay, now I really want you guys to take a look at this. And this is another example, yet again, of how I'm explaining to you all that a lot of these, what they really called as conceptual art based on conceptualism. Of course, we went into this before, but this is another form of it. And I also uh, not only want to point this conceptual art out, but how it has been changed over time in order to fit the narrative of what you may be familiar with. I want you to take a very close look at what I'm about to show you, okay? So I hope you can see my mouse, I hope that comes out. But look at this picture. In this picture, we have two boats. Now we're gonna go over this, okay? I really want you to focus on the details of this image. And I'm gonna go into uh, when this cre was created and everything like that. I probably will even show it to you. I'm probably gonna have to chop this up because I'm doing this live, so I'm gonna have to chop this up to show you. But the detail, there's a white guy that has his hands behind him, okay? There's a guy that's pointing at the children and it looks more so like women here too, but it could have been, I mean, this could be a boy, but basically they're fully clothed, okay? And I hope you can hear me. I'm not up on the mic all the way, but um, and this guy looks like he's telling him, hey, they could be used for labor, okay? You know, they could be contracted for servitude. They're young, they're able-bodied, and basically he's trying to sell pitch what he can do with the, let me explain the picture. These children were captured from the uh, Dutch ship, Dutch man of war ship, um, in which I went into this before. This was supposed to be depicting the time period of Jamestown in 1619 in Virginia. Now, these were supposed to be the people that were captured, the 20 and odd Negroes that were captured from the Dutch. There we go. I'm trying to make sure everything is correct in my mind. Yeah, they were captured from the Dutch. Uh, the Dutch allegedly okay, took them and brought them back to Jamestown and tried to uh, sell them, basically, okay? But this what the picture is depicting, and I wanna show you this, okay? At the same time, let me pull it up, all right? Now, look at this one, okay? Now, what we see here is the guy, his hands on his back, there's the guy pointing at the, you know, the guy with the hat and everything. Now they have guns. All of a sudden, now they have guns. They're, they're weaponized. Okay. And now the slaves look like boys. No clothes on. Let's look at that one more time. Clothes on. The guy's over here. Up on the other side. And they're up close. No weapons. 
You don't see no weapon. This guy holds is holding a cane. That's not a weapon. No weapons. All right. And then this picture, weapon, 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 cane, and they have no clothes on. Okay. So what I want to do is point out the discrepancies here. All right. Now, this picture that you see here, this image that you see here, this is conceptualism. Based on my research, I discovered that this picture was created in 1754. Give me a second. I'm going to pull this up. All right. Now, as you can see, um, I trace this back to the Halton archives. This is one of the largest archives for a collection of depictions or arts. The Halton archive is owned by Getty Images. They're selling this image for $500. And according to them, I hope you can see this. It says the date was created January 2nd, 1754. January 2nd, 1754. What's interesting to note here is that they're not giving you the illustrator. Okay. But they do have a date, which means maybe they could be the person could be unknown but i doubt that very seriously if you know a, a specific date <laughs> you know who the illustrator is but that's besides the point i just want you to note that this image in 1754 is displaying that the people that were captured had clothes on there was no threat on top of that you don't see any weapon on anybody in this picture none whatsoever Okay, this is how you know that things have been changed over time. Now, let me get to uh, the other one. Give me one second. All right. Now, this is the next one. This is the image where you see uh, the guy is on this side now with his uh, hands behind his back. Now, I pulled this up on uh, CBS. This is CBS's website. This is one of the when I tried to trace this image back. This is one of the oldest so far of this being utilized on the internet okay now i'm also going to check other things but they're giving the credit to this particular uh depiction to howard powell they're stating that howard powell illustrated many historical and adventure stories from periodicals including harper's weekly now they're stating that this was in a magazine in 1917 Listen to that. In 1917, he created this depiction of the 1619 arrival of Virginia's first blacks. Now, if you guys are familiar with my work in previous years, I went over the multiple discrepancies dealing with the Jamestown settlement. Originally, it was known as James City, and I did a lot of traveling there, going back and forth, documenting things before it was changed. I highly recommend that you go check those out. But that's interesting. So with that being said, let me switch back to the other picture. With all of that being said, now we know that this particular image was changed in order to make it look. Hold on. Let me go back and pull this one up to make it seem as if the story was a more threatening story. This is fear mongering. They're trying to add on to it. This is how you could tell things have been changed along with the story, but they had to have the pictures in order to match it. The transatlantic slave trade story did not happen the way that we were told. We were constantly allowing these strangers to give us depictions in order for us to use our imagination in order to promote things like this, which is complete fear mongering to make it seem as if these white folks was too strong enough and these so-called black people were so weak enough that they couldn't fight back. <laughs> it's, it's honestly mind boggling to see something like this being done. And especially during that time period. But if you think about it, the 19th and when this image was created in 1917, that's the same time period that the industrialized system of compulsory education was implemented by the likes of the president of that time, Woodrow Wilson. Okay. So I want you guys to know this. This is just, you know, a sidebar of some things that you could notice that how imagery was changed in order to make it seem as if it's one thing when it's actually another. Once again, let's go over this. This is the exact image that that 
Harper guy, I forgot his name already, was trying to copy in order to enhance their ideologies, in order to enhance their thoughts, in order to enhance their beliefs, in order to amplify a form of fear mongering to make it seem as if slavery existed the way that we were told. Now, I've been saying out of all of my years being on YouTube that no, slavery did not happen the way that we were told. Slavery was strictly about employment. And I'll say that for a little time. I already put this out actually, but I'll talk about it at a different time because that's not what this video is about. But yeah, if you want to have uh, a discussion about that, we can. If you would like to know the information that I already presented on this particular topic, go back. I highly recommend that you watch this video or documentary, rather full-fledged documentary called Who Should Be Held Responsible for Slavery. That's one of them that I can recall right off of hand, but I'm sure somebody could get in the comments and tell you about other documentaries or videos that I have posted on this particular topic to inform you by records and I mean strong evidence publicly verifiable by the way that yes slavery was all about employment and it still exists today to this very day that was big business for a reason it had nothing to do with skin complexion it's a reason why the 1790 census named those incoming foreigners free whites and i talked about that as well that's already out of my channel okay if you would like for me to go over it again I don't have no problem with doing that. Just, you know, leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. I just wanted to point out these discrepancies, guys. It's always going to be like that. That was purposely done. This is how they want American history to be portrayed. OK, they want to leave loopholes in order for you to fill them in by the use of your imagination. So you have to be careful with a lot of these stories that you're subscribing to when you actually have no idea what they were doing as far as what their main goal was. Their ma Actually, I'm gonna give you some other things to think. Mm, yeah, let me show this to you also. Um, this is an archived United Nations web page, okay? Now, um, this was dated, it was called the International Day of Remembrance of the Victims of Slavery in the Transatlantic Slave Trade, March 25th, 2011. Now, you can tell this was archived because this particular image isn't there. In fact, here, I'll just I'll right click and open up another tab so you can understand that this is now the new UN website. But let's go back. OK, this is an archive. <laughs> you know, Dan Calloway, don't play that. I want to scroll all the way down here to point something out. OK, and I'll give more feedback on this at a later date. OK, because this was this was not on my list of things that I wanted to do, but I just wanted to point something out. But I'll make sure I'll add this to the list and add more to this. I just want to show you guys that there was a conference uh, that was done on. Where is that date? Oh, on Wednesday, March 23rd, a global conference. OK, listen to this video conference for educators. Can you see this? And by the way, if you wanted to go see this video conference, if I go here and click it a new tab, this is what happens. It's not there anymore. OK, but I know how to get it and I'm not going to show that right here. But anyway, um, so a new video conference happened for educators. It says new approaches to teaching African history and the transatlantic slave trade. All right. And I wanted to point something out. It says the conference was designed to update educators on new scholarship, new resources and best practices. Listen to this, guys, in teaching the history and legacy of the transatlantic slave trade. This was all done by design. These particular people that you see right here got together in order to come up with these <laughs> <laughs> in order to come up with these stories and along with their depictions in order to keep the lie going in order to continue to lie to be upheld as the truth you have to tell another lie and another lie and another lie and then you also have to refurbish it with another lie okay and then you got to make sure that the educators are regurgitating this information to make it seem as if this is the real deal but just know for a fact that I'll, I'll put this on my schedule and I'll talk more about it. But let's go back 
to the original question at hand keep in mind this image or this uh yeah this illustration was done 1917 and this illustration was 1754. they're changing the stories guys left and right i'm just here to point them out i really appreciate you all for watching and of course be looking out for more new content if you learned something new go ahead and click the like button Leave your comments down below and tell me what you think. And I highly recommend that you share everything that I put out because I'm helping to educate, re-educate our people for the better. I'm Dane Calloway, and you know what I'm here to do. I'm just here to make you think.